okay next topic is matrix representation of operator matrix representation of operators hmm. so for each linear operator a we can write a for each linear operator A, we can write operator A equal to this is unit matrix and A and unit matrix. So this type of form we can call matrix representation of operator in quantum mechanics. So in the Dirac bracket notations we can write these things like this. Summation n equal to 1 to infinity. This is set i n. This is bra vector i n. Okay. This is operator a and uh, this is m equal to one to infinity. Here i m. I am see here so here I this I am going to write here like this which means unit matrix one so we know inner product of the two vectors psi n of psi n in quantum mechanics if states are same then it equal to 1 so this is also same state the inner product is the same so this is meaning of this one is i this meaning is i so this is the notation can representation of the operators matrix representation of operators in quantum mechanics but we can write like this this operator so summation n comma m equal to 1 to infinity so here I'm going to write these things. Uh, let us say in this portion. I'm going to write like this. See, 
psi en this is get vector and this is bra vector psi n this is operator and this is the state vector okay the remaining thing is pi m so this notation is there right this is the new notation so we know how to write quantum state you know quantum mechanics by using the Dirac bracket notation so we already discussed the how we can represent a quantum uh, state vector in quantum mechanics for example <coughs> If nth state of wave function is say psi nth state, we can represent it like this, right? So, or we can represent it the nth state of vector in quantum mechanics, like which means this is the nth state of the wave function. So, in this similar way, here I'm going to represent these things. Yeah operator a n m here n is said this is n right this is m the so meaning of this notation is i n operator and pi m equal to so we can write like this actually this uh, sorry uh, this is nth state this is operator this is m state or else we can write this notation a n m like in matrix we can write a two by two matrix or we cannot say this one a n by m i'm going to say this one notation quantum mechanics bracket notation okay so this is a n into m okay the remaining portion is here the continuation of this summation n comma m equal to 1 to infinity this is a vector psi n state is there remaining this state is pro vector pi not psi this one pi pi m state The here or where a n by m can write i n okay a operator outside pi pi m many times i call here instead of pi psi <coughs> so this a n by m we can write in matrix form so like this a matrix a a one one a one two a one three and so on up to n by m a 
टू वन ए टू टू ए टू थ्री एंड सो ऑन एंड ए थ्री वन ए थ्री टू ए थ्री थ्री एंड सो ऑन सो दिस इज द मैट्रिक्स ऑफ ए एन बाय ए so i matrix is the unit matrix we can write like this 1 0 0 and so on <coughs> 0 1 0 and so on 0 0 1 and so on so we already know <coughs> we already know um, cat vectors are represented by column vectors draw vectors are represented by row vectors and uh, operated by the square matrix okay so uh, here i m this is cat vector i am going to represent it the one into the pi 1 pi 2 pi 3 this is bra vector and uh, pi n state This is row vector, right? I one, I two, I three, and so on. The next important notation is. All these quantum tools are helpful by solving quantum mechanical problems. You must learn all these things before solving any quantum mechanical problem. Especially, you need one-dimensional problems, two-dimensional problems, a finite well, infinite potential well, and CG coefficients. Um, especially angular momentum operators by solving a uh, hydrogen atom problem so in case you are going to solve these problems you must and should let these uh, quantum mechanical tools <coughs> next uh, matrix representation of hermitian operator <coughs> 